On the channel, we recently covered how to shiny hunt for a Basque Legion in any special Pokeball. I think a lot of you enjoyed this video, but a common question asked was how do we get other Hisuian Pokemon from Legends Arceus in whatever Pokeball we want? And that's exactly what we're going to cover in today's video. I'm going to show you every method available for all the Hisuian Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet so you can shiny hunt these Pokemon in whatever Pokeball you like. All the available and breedable Hisuian Pokemon will be split into three different categories throughout this video. Firstly, we will cover the Hisuian Pokemon you can breed and fully evolve in Scarlet and Violet. And secondly, we will cover the Hisuian Pokemon you can breed, but you will need to trade over to Pokemon Legends Arceus to fully evolve. And thirdly, we will cover the Pokemon you can't get in anything other than a strange or Pokeball, Actually, we'll start there as there is only one Pokemon you can trade over that is breedable from Pokemon Legends Arceus, which can't have any other Pokeball, and that's Hisuian Electrode. This grass and electric type Pokemon is genderless, and because of this, the only Pokeball that can be passed down when breeding with Ditto is from the non Ditto Pokemon. And as Hisuian Electro can only be caught as of recording this video in a Hisuian Pokeball, it will always be tranced over in a Strange Ball, which when bred down reverts into a Pokeball. So, sorry to tell all of you Hisuian Electro fans out there, and I'm one of them, the only way to shiny hunt this Pokemon currently in Scarlet and Violet is in a Pokeball. Now with that out of the way, onto the Pokemon that can breed and be fully evolved in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. These Legends Arceus exclusives are Hisuian Quillfish, Hisuian Sneasel, Hisuian Growlithe, Hisuian Zoroa and the White Striped Basculin. All of these Pokemon have regional counterparts available to catch in the wilds of Paldea that once caught can be bred with the Hisuian forms to get Hisuian eggs, which you can get in whatever Pokeball you want. Shiny hunt and fully evolving them is pretty easy. The basic method for getting all of these Hisuian forms in different Pokeballs can be applied across the board in this category. That is excluding White Stripe Basculin. This is slightly different, but we have a full video on the channel, which we already mentioned that you can check out by clicking in the link in the description after this video, which covers everything you need to know for shiny hunting and getting whatever Pokeball you want on your own Basque Legion in Scarlet and Violet. Now for this example, we will use Hisuian Growlithe. And remember, like I mentioned, this same method can be applied to all of the other Hisuian Pokemon we listed in this category. Firstly, we need to trade in Hisuian Growlithe from Legends Arceus. Once you have one in your copy of Scarlet and Violet, you'll notice that it will be in a Strange Ball. This is the default Pokeball of all Pokemon traded in from Pokemon Legends Arceus to Scarlet and Violet through Pokemon Home. The Strange Ball cannot be bred down either. If you breed your Hisuian Growlithe with a Ditto, it will only produce Hisuian Growlithe eggs in Pokeballs. Also, it's worth mentioning, if you can only get a Hisuian Arcanine or any one of the other fully evolved Hisuian Pokemon, in this category, you will need to breed this down to have the first evolution of this Pokemon to do this method. Unless you can catch the fully evolved version of this Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet, which you can with Arcanine, this is possible with most of the Pokemon. It's just a lot easier to find and catch the first stage evolutions rather than their fully evolved regional counterparts. Now with your Hisuian Pokemon traded into Scarlet and Violet, the next step in this process is to get its regional form native to Scarlet and Violet. As we have traded in Hisuian Growlithe, we need to catch a Cantonian Growlithe in Scarlet and Violet. It's worth noting you will want to catch the regional form available in Scarlet and Violet as the opposite gender to the one you traded in from Pokemon Legends Arceus. And an easy area for you to find a Growlithe is in the South Province Area 3 as shown here on the map. Once you locate one, drop a save in front of the target Pokemon in case you miss the catch with one of your rarer Pokeballs. So you can reset and try again if that does happen, then jump into the battle and catch it. I always use a false swipe user also to get the target Pokemon down to 1 HP which helps increase the catch rates so this might be something you want to adopt when doing this method yourself. As I want to get a Hisuian Arcanine in a friend ball, once we found a male Growlithe as the Hisuian Growlithe we traded in was a female, I catch it and of course once you have this Pokemon caught and it is the opposite gender to the regional form that you traded in, you're all set to move on to the next step. 
The next step is to put the Cantonian Growlithe and the Hisuian Growlithe in your party. Make sure that you attach the Everstone to the Hisuian Pokemon. This will ensure all of the eggs you produce from these two Pokemon are always the Hisuian form. Now when you breed two Pokemon of the same species, they will always have a 50% chance to pass down either Pokeball the parents have to the eggs. So all we need to do is breed enough eggs from this initial pairing and we will eventually receive an egg with a Hisuian Growlithe that's been passed the friend ball from its Cantonian father. In case you wondered as well, Pokemon of the same species is like Hisuian Growlithe and Cantonian Growlithe as they are both Growlithe, despite their regional differences. Growlithe and Arcanine are different species, so the eggs if you breed these two would always come 100% from the female Pokemon and never from the male. Once you have hatched your Hisuian regional form in the egg that you want passed down from the native Scarlet and Violet parent, you can then begin to shiny hunt for this Pokemon. To do this, get a foreign ditto to utilize the Misuda method. If you want a foreign ditto and you don't have one, use the universal trade code 4448 4448. To trade with other players from around the world to get a ditto from another region that's not the same as your game. The Masuda method increases your shiny odds to 1 in 682. And if you have the shiny charm on top of this, the odds are even better at 1 in 512 for producing a shiny Pokemon through this breeding method. So it's well worth doing. Once you have your ditto put in your party with your newly hatched Hisuian Pokemon, make sure you attach the Everstone once again to the Hisuian Pokemon and set up a picnic. You can speed up the process of producing eggs by making an ultimate peanut butter sandwich that will give you the level two egg power and then collect your eggs until you have a good few boxes ready to hatch, then proceed to hatch them, which will see them all be in their respected Hisuian forms in the special Pokeball you chose when starting out this process. And just be patient, if you don't get the shiny straight away, repeat the steps of producing eggs in your picnic with the Ditto and your Hisuian Pokemon until you do eventually hatch your shiny. Again, this method can be done with the Hisuian Quillfish. You can catch regular Quillfish in Scarlet and Violet, Hisuian Sneasel, that can be caught in Scarlet and Violet. Hisuian Growlithe is what we've done. Hisuian Zorua as well. Normal Zorua is available in these games and you can catch the red and the blue striped Basculin, which can be bred with the white striped Basculin from Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now the next group of Pokemon are all Pokemon that can be caught or bred in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but to get their respected Hisuian forms, they need to be traded over to Pokemon Legends Arceus to fully evolve. These Pokemon are Scyther, Stantler, Petalil, Teddyursa, Bergmite, Gumi, Rufflet, Oshawott, Cyndaquil, and Rowlet. With the exception of the starter Pokemon who can only be obtained either via trade or obtaining their final evolutions through the recent 7 star terror raid events in Scarlet and Violet, the rest of these Hisuian pre-evolution in the wilds of Paldea. The biggest caveat to these Pokemon is even if you catch or breed these Pokemon in their shiny forms to get their Hisuian counterparts, you will need to trade them into Legends Arceus to evolve them. Shiny hunting for these Pokemon is pretty straightforward either by hunting them in the wild using sparkling power sandwiches or by adopting the Masuda method to breed for a shiny. And of course, being able to obtain these Hisuian pre-evolutions in Scarlet and Violet, it means it's very easy to get these Hisuian forms in any special Pokeball you want. For instance, we have a shiny Petalil in a Love Ball. This was a Pokemon that we went out and shiny hunted for in Paldea and managed to find one catching it in a Love Ball. But to get the Hisuian Lilligant, I would need to trade this shiny then into Pokemon Legends Arceus where I could then evolve it using the Sunstone to get the Hisuian form. And remember when you initially trade a Pokemon from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet into Legends Arceus, it will appear in a strange ball. But don't worry, the original ball you caught or bred this Pokemon in won't be lost and will show as normal once you eventually trade it back to Scarlet and Violet after it's evolved. A lot of the methods we have already covered in today's video to pass down Pokeballs can be adopted with these Pokemon, especially for the starter Pokemon which can't be caught in the wild. In this instance, you will have to trade with friends who caught these starter Pokemon in special Pokeballs through the seven 
star terror raid events that can then pass these pokeballs down when you breed them like we've covered in this video and that covers all of the different methods that can be used to get any of the hisuian pokemon in special pokeballs in scarlet and violet one of the ambitious projects i have going on right now is to get a shiny cleaver in a beast ball i called this wild scyther in a beast ball in scarlet and violet and once i breed it down with a ditto hopefully it doesn't take too long to get as a shiny i'll be able to trade it over to legends arceus to have it evolve then i can trade it back and i can use this exclusive beast ball shiny cleaver in competitive play that's one of my many projects i have planned using this method to get a shiny Hisuian Pokemon in a special Pokeball, but let me know what Hisuian Pokemon you are planning to shiny hunt and what special Pokeball you are planning to put them in. I hope you have found today's video useful. If you have, please drop a like on the video and do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Thanks for tuning in and good luck with those shiny hunts and until next time, bye bye.